Watch this man with the orange bucket go from townhouse to townhouse. Neighbors say he's stealing their water. Excuse me, what are you doing? And look at this guy, urinating against the wall. He's eventually confronted by an irritated neighbor. This is not your place to be. Don't you fucking record me. Why? What are you going to do? Punk? All of this foul behavior was caught on surveillance cameras just in the past few days at the corner of Aurora Ave and North 96th Street in Seattle's Licton Springs neighborhood. Just a whole bunch of chaos. Fakurte Befakadu lives in this townhouse with her family and says all these problems are associated with this rapidly growing homeless encampment. I mean, look at this woman right now. She can't even get through the sidewalk. Yeah, the sidewalk is blocked. She also says the streets are now clogged with vehicles belonging to some of the campers, making it difficult for school buses to get through. They bring household items, like they even place a couch. That couch is now set up against Tai Tai Kitchen. The owner says unless this encampment's cleared real soon, he might have to close up shop. How has it impacted your business? Oh, <laughs> every day. I started tracking this place last month after neighbor complaints about fights, open air drug use and trash spilling into the streets. Back then, I only saw a handful of tents. And the next thing you know, there's three, four, five, as you can see. It's now there are more than 20 and counting. Where are they all coming from? All over. Michael Russell says he moved in a few weeks ago after being cleared out by the city at another nearby homeless encampment. One gets cleared out and one that hasn't been inhabited for a while, they'll start populating that one again. And it's not only the neighbors and townhouses complaining. Some of the residents of Clement Place. When you go home, you don't want to see all that who were once homeless themselves, are now worried about this encampment across the street spiraling out of control. Yeah, I want the city to clean it up. Seattle-based nonprofit DESC runs the building and a spokesperson confirms some of their staff and tenants are struggling with problems associated with this encampment. But so far, they've been able to help eight people get out of here into emergency shelter. As for the city, Mayor Harrell's unified care team's now running point on the homelessness response, but no one got back to us about this developing situation. We cannot wait. And that's also what's been frustrating for some of these neighbors who want to remain anonymous, fearing retaliation from the homeless. Even after dozens of complaints, you lose compassion. This woman who only wants to go by Michelle says they're only getting these canned emails acknowledging the problem, but no timeline on when this encampment will be cleared. And then the city wants to reward them by giving them a home. Where is the skin in the game for them? As for the homeless living out here, they say it's also getting dangerous for them. What's that for? Uh, for protection and self-defense. Russell says a vigilante recently came by and dumped pieces of concrete near his tent to prevent more campers from moving in. And then there are the drug dealers. As people come up here and brand new vehicles and stuff, like, hey, we got... What you need, you should try this. Like, nah, I'm good, man. Like, you got ribs. What else you got? <laughs> Some hot wings. This woman who goes by secret wow. says she's trying her best to make this place feel like home. And her friend Michael says they need some more of the basics. That's There's no porta potty, so where are they going to use the bathroom at? Exactly so do you need a porta potty out here? Of course. This homeowner who goes by Steve says that's a bad idea since it could enable the homeless to stay even longer. I don't want anything bad to happen to those people, but they need to find another place to stay. So until the city acts, some neighbors are taking matters into their own hands, adding more surveillance cameras, locking up their spigots, and putting covers on electrical outlets. And it honestly feels like the city doesn't care about us.